Hello everyone. Today uh, I want to just look at these uh, roller blind motors, tubular motors. Uh, we have three of them here and uh, they've all been replaced because they're not working. They don't seem to be working and I'm just curious to see what's inside and why they stopped working. So there doesn't seem to be any obvious screws or anything except for these uh, small dowel holes here and uh, but if you twist that around you can see this little projection and if you look very closely there's a little clip there so it appears that you have to open this clip and uh, behind this uh, ring There is a, a screw, which is a torque screw, so you need a special screwdriver, a torque screwdriver. I'll just position this properly. And try to open that. Still doesn't come out, so need to tap it a bit. And there you have it. That is the the electronic capsule and in here there is a capacitor and this is a blind position stops in the right position Anyway, uh, that's one side, and then uh, I will look at the other side later. So, here we go. There, there's two little clips, one here and one here, and that is what holds the cover over the electronic circuit board, the printed circuit board. And that's the board, but unfortunately the board cannot be removed anymore, because you have to unsolder that, those terminals because they are the connections to the power supply to the motor which is further down. So, and this is just a, a magnet that spins and keeps a track of the position, but it's not connected to the motor in any way. So it, it probably counts the revolutions or something. And that that is linked to this outer ring. This outer ring. This ring has a little gear, gear teeth on the inside. So, that's as far as I've got. It's, it's starting to come out. <laughs> and I'll, have, I'll get it out and come back again. Okay, so finally uh, I've got the whole thing, the whole motor apart and you can see all the different uh, modules. This is the infrared sensor, the circuit board and the remote control uh, receiver. That's one end. And uh, there's a capacitor here that that's the, that's the only thing that's possible to change on this whole thing if it needs repair. Uh, because the rest of it is very difficult to pull apart. Then here you have the motor, that's the electrical connection and the windings are inside there. Electricity goes to the windings. This is the rotor part and 
I think that's some brake arrangement. I'm not sure what it is. This is this is the motor, and these are the electrical leads, and that comes apart. That's the coil winding, and in here is the rotor shaft, and that's just some sort of brake. It slides in there, and this end is a like a bearing holder, a bronze bearing, and that's the drive. Then you have a, a coupling, and here is the gearbox, which reduces the RPM. And there's another segment here, which reduces it further with uh, internal gears. And each of them clips together with these uh, little clips. So that goes like that. And there's another set of gears, gearbox and the final drive, which goes into this and that's another unit there and this is the final thing that drives the the actual blind up and down so it's a big reduction in speed from that motor to this because if you try to turn turn that there's only very slight turn on this part here that also clips clips together so this all the sections clip together and that's it so Problem is, it's it's a press fit in this, and the only way to get it out is to cut that pipe, which I did. There, there, and there you have it. Thanks. Bye.